must also remember that we are special because we are a city in a garden. Not only do we have an extensive network of parks and park connectors, we've also incorporated greenery wherever we can, from walls to rooftops to make it pervasive. But we can do better. First, we will make our parks more community-centric. In the next few years, we will continue to roll out inclusive playgrounds in our parks. They enable all kids to have fun together, whether they are physically able or have disability. The first was launched last year at Bishan Amokyo Park with the support of the National Council of Social Services. And parks will launch eight more in the next few years. We will also use greenery as therapy, especially for seniors. A study conducted by N Parks and the National University Health System showed improved mental health in participants who, who participated in horticultural therapy. Seniors and their caregivers can look forward to an upcoming network of therapeutic gardens with contemplative spaces and activity zones to support dementia and post-stroke patients. Beyond creating new green spaces with the community, we, are we also want to support ground-up greening efforts. Some of these gardens have gone the extra mile, contributing their harvest to disadvantaged families in the neighbourhood. Others use the garden as an outdoor classroom to teach the younger generations about nature and how life used to be like in the past, passing down knowledge and values along the way. We've seen organic communities form at, our park, at other parks too. And that is why N Parks launched the Friends of the Park scheme two weeks ago. Through this, volunteers can be even more involved in our parks, for example, by organizing their own activities and partnering NParks in park management. 